that is easy. I'll use the instruction for Maya. In this video, I'll show you how you can use control scripts I have added to Manual Pro 3.2 for quickly reading inside of Maya. The first thing I want to show you is a simple AK handle, uh, AK, sorry, AK hard. So, I want to show you immediately. They need, uh, what we need to do is press Z, middle mouse button, select reading, and create jobs. So, something like that. Right. I want to create uh, the key handle. So, Z, middle mouse button, go to Sol West again, and create my, my I key handle. One, and one, two. And what I want to now is get the controller, so Z, middle mouse button, go to the work, create a circle and put my circle in the top of the, of the elements. So now I need to constrain these two elements. Before of that I create set my circle, select my joint for the circle, select my joint and Z left mouse button and I want to control the orient. What's happening now? The controller orient skipped, free transformation, the latest history of the controller, attack the controller as controller and match the pivot of uh, the controller to the to the to the joint in this case to the to the target. Very good. I will now need to create a controller point for the key handles. So select my controller, my key handle Z, left mouse button and now I can a point constraint. So a uh, controller point. This controller point let me move in and of course in the same time rotate. Um, another thing I need to create is a uh, is a uh, pull vector, so now I have Z, left mouse button, go to object, go to locator, and I need to create a controller uh, pull vector, so select my, my locator, select my key handle, press Z, left mouse button, and now I can control pull vector. Again, what's happening, delete history, split transformation, tag as locator, and create constraint to the object, so now I have a full arm working. Another kind of uh, of controller skip I create is related to the aim controller. So, create a new shim. Want to make uh, with, uh, of, uh, what I have the alias of Z left mouse button and uh, enable anti alias. So now I want to create some, for example, um, simple cone. Yeah. What I want to do is orient in Z positive the cone. This is because in the, in the most of the case the a character as the as the highest in the positive direction. So uh, the same script to work uh, by by respect this behavior, right? So now I need to rotate these elements, right? Duplicate it. Before continuing, I need to freeze the transformation of the hot of the two subject. If you have uh, enabled like me the full hotkey sets, you can use Control Enter for do that. If you don't have a enable it, I suggest you to enable and do Control Enter to freeze transformation and uh, removing the non deformer reset from the objects. So now I can create my locator here, select the controller, the two controlled objects, and another thing uh, of, this of this controller script is uh, working in batch mode. So now I can very fast, uh, Z left mouse button, create a name constraint, control aim. So you can see now the to the object are batched connected to the to the to the locator by respecting the direction of the of the aim constraint. Really interesting way to work. Um, there is uh, another thing I want to show you. For example if you have a single cube create an object for this cube, for example a circle, I use a parent control, so this object, this object is a parent control for this, let's um, left uh, Z and left my button, and now I can uh, select uh, um, controller parent. So what happening now? If you have a single controller a single and a single target, the pivot match. So as you can see now I can rotate by matching and moving by matching these people. But uh, if you have multiple objects, for example, uh, I want to show you immediately, I want to create a multiple, multi multiple cube, with a shift D, I can replicate faster and uh, create um, a controller for. For M9 Pro, the controller are uh, noobs, curves, or locators. 
so select my locator, select my cubes and then again I control parent. Now the pivot remain to the to the to the to the controller. So uh, all the objects move with the, with the controller. This I uh, make this difference because um, I want to make a different behavior by considering a single object or multiple object. So I hope you like this introduction and I think so this can make uh, the, the rigging process uh, more fast without uh, need to use some auto-rigging script. So I hope you find this helpful and bye.